My name is Devin Stratton. I'm from Orem, Utah. I'm 25 years old, and I'm the guy that fell off the cliff. I feel super lucky to be alive. Obviously, I didn't know the cliff was there when I was going too fast. I shouldn't have been going that fast. I turned sideways and tried to stop because I realized it was a big cliff, and when I saw how big it was, I thought of my cousin John, who was a quadriplegic, and I thought I was going to be paralyzed. And then when I went over the edge and I looked down, I thought I was dead. There was no question in my mind that I was dead for sure. And so, even though it didn't sound like it in my head, I was praying over and over. Um, just basically, please help me. That's what I was saying. And when I landed, I was surprised to be alive. And I definitely thank God for letting me not die. It was a factor of a lot of things. I had a helmet on. The snow was deep. and. There was a steep angle I landed on. I cleared the rocks, but I think it's a miracle that I didn't get hurt and that I'm still alive. About a year and a half ago, my younger sister, Rachel, um, passed away. She had brain cancer. And when she had been diagnosed, they gave her six to nine months to live, and she actually lived over three years. So she's definitely a lot tougher than me, and I'm sure she's part of the reason why I'm still around. So I went back and rappelled down the cliff, and my friend Matt Gallen took his laser rangefinder, and from part way down where he could see me, he used his rangefinder and it said 50 yards when he was already part way down the cliff and I was standing where I landed. And then we also tied a knot in the rope and took that into a climbing shop to use the length counter, get the rope measured, and that measured 161 feet. And according to the 3.08 second free fall, math would say that's 152 feet so I don't know exactly how tall it was but it was it was big and I'm super fortunate to be alive and literally not even not even a bruise or a scratch so that's pretty awesome so obviously my mom wasn't super happy about it um, I called her on the phone before I showed her the video and kind of mentioned that I had fallen off a little cliff on accident and was looking for my ski which took nearly five hours to find um, so I kind of warmed her up a little and when I showed her the video, um, she obviously wasn't too happy about it. So we had skinned up that section in the dark, so obviously I didn't get to see it in the light. It was my first time skiing it, so it was my fault for going too fast in unfamiliar terrain. Uh, I definitely recommend knowing the terrain and I'm going to be a lot more careful from now on. I, I learned a lesson. Uh, I would say the hard way, but probably the easiest way I could have um, in that situation. A lot of people ask me, what were you thinking or what was going through your head when you realized you were going off a cliff? And really I thought, at first I was going to be paralyzed and I thought, I'm going to die. And just immediately began praying because I thought that was it. And I seriously feel lucky to be, to be alive. I'm super blessed. Thank you. My head hurts a little and my ribs from the back. But I think I'm good.